I'm so excited to be here. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, I just want to say that it's been an honor to be involved in this company and to see what amazing things are happening with this hydrostat technology bringing nano size glutathione to everybody and uh, the results I've had with my drivers have been phenomenal and I'll talk about that in a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead and start. So thank you so much. All right. Uh, so welcome to the future. When it comes to glutathione, precursors were yesterday's heroes, and they were, they were the greatest that they were at their time, but science has moved forward, and I'm so excited that it has, because it's able to bring this amazing glutathione to people um, not needing IVs and, and being able to do all the things that it is, we're going to talk about with this hydrostat technology. All right, we're going to live better, we're going to feel better, we're going to perform better, all at the speed of swish. And that is what's so amazing, is the amazing uh, technology that has been able to get this to be so quick. It's unlike anything that's out there. We're actually seeing results really quickly. So what is glutathione? What is important to the cells? So the human cell, what does it need to survive? First, it needs oxygen. How long can we live without oxygen? Four minutes, six minutes, 10 minutes, the brain starts to actually uh, die. Uh, what about water? Water we need for, you know, we can go about three days without water and then our body is, is depleted. What about food? Our body needs food. We need glucose for the cells to actually run and, and to work. And we can go about eight to 12 or eight to 21 days without food, depending on our health and, and the food stores that we may have had. But what about cell per protection? What about glutathione? So glutathione is so important that we can only live merely seconds without it. Now, the good news is that glutathione is naturally created in the body. So as long as we don't have a major disorder, we're actually able to create that. And what is glutathione? Glutathione is the master antioxidant of the body. So what does that actually mean? Well, let's see what the experts say first. They say, Dr. Oz, we all know Dr. Oz, he's amazing. He says, glutathione is the superhero of antioxidants. So what about Dr. Hyman? Dr. Hyman is amazing. He's done phenomenal research in this area. He said it's the most important molecule you need to stay healthy and prevent disease. Dr. Don Colbert, phenomenal as well. He says, in my opinion, glutathione is the Michael Jordan of antioxidants and the detoxifier in the body. So it's, he's saying, basically, he's your go-to, right? Michael Jordan was your go-to in basketball. Glutathione is the go-to and the detoxifier as well. And then Dr. Jimmy Gutman said, your body's most powerful healing agent. All of those things are so phenomenal. What is this molecule? Well, glutathione is a human cell guardian. So it produced naturally in every single cell of the body. So your, even your slow fat cells, there's you know a few molecules in there, but your important cells like your brain and your liver and your kidney, they, there's an abundance because it actually works with the mitochondria and your cells gonna have in your brain roughly 2,500 mitochondria in there. So it's naturally in there. It is the master antioxidant of the body. So it's gonna go in and it's going to neutralize and get rid of the things that are going in there to oxidize, to cause damage in those cells. So it's gonna work with that as well. It's a natural cell detoxifier. So it's got this cool little sulfur ion in there. And in that, it actually goes in and sulfur ion is sticky and it's almost like flypaper. And it's gonna go in and grab those toxins and pull them out of the cell and help to toxify the body at a cellular level. Not a run to the bathroom like the detox you may have taken before. It's actually cleaning out each and every cell. So it's also a natural anti-inflammatory. And I talk about inflammation all the time in my office. Inflammation is what leads to arthritis. It's what leads to disease states. It what leads to skin conditions heart conditions, diabetes, inflammation is the killer of our society and it's the killer of the body. So it also protects and modulates and maximizes the immune system. Why is this important? Because we all talk about the immune system and we talk about 
these disease states where you have an autoimmune disease. Well, what does that actually mean? Well, most of the time that means that the body's immune system is so ramped up that it's actually high. And we say we wanna heighten our immune system. That's actually not correct. We wanna modulate it, bring it back where it needs to be so that it can work properly. So we want to find something that protects, modulates and maximizes the immune system. And that's exactly what glutathione does. So it also reduces cellular inflammation. So we had talked about it being anti-inflammatory, maybe in the joints or all over the body when inflammatory processes bloom, right? And become big, and that's when they cause disease states. Well, each little cell can have an inflammatory state as well. So it reduces that cellular in, uh, inflammation. So how is the body created? Well, at the very, very smallest piece, we're all created of atoms, right? And those atoms are created and they come in and they create molecules. So in that molecule, they all add up to the human cell. And that's what we're really going to talk about. But inside that cell, many cells come together and they create human tissue. So from that tissue is how we create organs. So you have atoms that create molecules, create human cells that create tissue. And then all of a sudden, it's this phenomenal world where we have been designed by this amazing creator to create lungs and to create liver and to create other humans, right? And to create a heart and eyes and all of these amazing organs. Well, those organs wouldn't be anything if they weren't put into a system. So like the one you see on there, you see the GI tract so phenomenally important. It's how we take in food. It's how the body um, brings in uh, different elements and then breaks it up, digests it. It's how it goes in. That digestive tract can be an issue as well. And we'll talk about that in a minute. But those systems are created to create the amazing human body that we have been given. So how does the cell function? First, there's a membrane on the outside. Then there's the core. In that core is where the nucleus and the DNA are, and all of those important things that tell each individual cell what to do, what kind of cell they're gonna be, and what their function's gonna be. From that is the mitochondria. The mitochondria is so important. The mitochondria is that little engine that could. It's fed with ATP, and the ATP is what fires off to give us that energy. Now, like I had said before, in cells, important cells like the brain, we may have 2,500, but those mitochondria get hit with oxidative states and they get broken down and they may not work properly. So although we have all of these mitochondria, let's say we're working at 50% capacity, they might be in there, but they're just not working the way they should. In those cells, there's also free radicals. And that's a problem. Those free radicals are very, very destructive. So it might be an extra oxygen molecule that's sitting around that is actually wreaking havoc to other things in there. So that's when glutathione needs to come in, grab things, neutralize those uh, free radicals. And we'll talk about how it protects the mitochondria as well. So glutathione is floating around in this cell, which is amazing, and it neutralizes the free radicals. It's composed of three amino acids. It's a tripeptide, and this is really important. So it's made up of glutamic acid, glycine, and cysteine. Now cysteine is in blue on your screen because cysteine is the limiting agent that uh, helps the body create, but it's the one that's hardest for it to get in. If we're not absorbing that cysteine, the cells don't produce enough glutathione, right? So you may have heard of NAC, which is N-acetylcysteine. So people were trying to take NAC to prior to help the body produce more glutathione, which was great when that was the best that we had. But we have so much more now, and that's where the science comes in. Now, to get back to those mitochondria, those little engines that could in there, the glutathione are very, very protective of their mitochondria. And so if something is coming in and damaging the mitochondria, that's gonna cause a disease state, or it could cause brain fog. If it's in the brain, it can cause decreased energy. It can cause all kinds of things and wreak havoc depending on the organ that we're talking about. But what's phenomenal about the glutathione is it actually is protective. So if we were only working at 50% capacity, 
in the brain and we didn't have much energy with the glutathione or with the mitochondria, the glutathione is going to come in there and protect that mitochondria, make it work better, get rid of those free radicals. So now the cell can work as it should. So if it is that brain cell, we're going to have increased energy. We're going to get that decreased brain fog. If it's the pancreas or uh, an area, it's going to allow better insulin to, or not better insulin, it's going to allow the insulin to actually do what it's supposed to do and decrease insulin resistance. If it's working in the liver cell, it's going to detox, detoxify the liver cell. Um, did you know that in the ER, if you go in for Tylenol overdose or acetaminophen overdose, they actually give you mega doses of NAC and acetylcysteine because they want to regenerate the amount of glutathione you have. So that will actually help detoxify the body. So they're doing what we have come up with an even better way to do to try and push out all of that toxic stuff that you've got in the body. So has this stuff been researched? It's been so researched. So as of March of 2021, there's over 158,000 articles on glutathione. That's mind blowing. So glutathione has been so researched. If you look at the amount that it's it's about triple the amount of vitamin C and you know vitamin E is hugely important as an antioxidant as well, but it has been researched over and over. Well, it's been researched for over 100,000 years or 100,000. It's been researched for over 100 years. And so what's been the problem? Why is it your doctors haven't been talking about this? Because it's been very, very difficult to get into the body. So it was only via IV that we were able to do that before or the precursors to hope that the body creates what it was supposed to. So what are the factors that decrease glutathione? Smoking. Smoking is very, very toxic. It goes into the cells, it goes into the lungs. Smoking causes so many more things than just lung cancer. It actually causes esophageal cancer. It can cause up to 16 different cancers actually. So the toxins do even more than that. They go in, they damage that mitochondria, they make you tired, they increase the fatigue. Overall, your whole body is more susceptible to disease states. Uh, when I have my patients come in and I check blood pressure, they actually, if they've smoked, their blood pressure is much higher because it causes vasoconstriction. So smoking all the way around is bad, right? And it also decreases your glutathione levels. Disease states actually cause decreased glutathione as well. So um, if you have a disease state, it's actually wearing at your glutathione more and more bad nutrition. Now this one comes close to my heart because as a registered dietitian, before I went back to school to become a chiropractor, all I focused was on nutrition. Uh, I worked at the VA hospital. I worked at a few hospitals and all I did was deal with food, right? You're only as good as what you put in your body and you can't have a million dollar body on a 99 cent menu. So we need to focus on what we're eating and taking good nutrition. Now, what about a food source for glutathione? Well, there are, but they're very, very low. So if you eat your broccoli and your cauliflower, your cruciferous um, vegetables, they, they can help your body create more because it's got that sulfur ion in it. And that's what gives broccoli that lovely smell when you make it. What about your onions and your garlic? Those all have that same sulfur ion, which help create the glutathione naturally in the body. But again, at very, very low levels. So you need good nutrition to fight off bad disease, but it's also not going to give you the ample amount of glutathione that you need. Now, contamination. This one's really hard to get away from. And honestly, my clinics are all in truck stops. I deal with truck drivers. So the contamination part and the toxins are really important for me and my patients. My patients are out there. They're professional truck drivers, and they do the most amazing job because without them, we would have nothing. So if you pick up your cell phone, it got delivered by a truck driver. Your food, your water, anything that we touch came to us via a truck driver. So I have a very close, um, uh, my heart goes to all of them and that's, that's where I am. But they're also around toxins constantly, whether they're standing at the fuel aisle, putting fuel in their truck and they're smelling the smoke of the truck 
or they're driving into you know an area where there may be more toxins they're around them constantly and those toxins are bombarding their body just like they're bombarding your and i bodies so we go out there and we battle these toxins on a regular basis well how do we get rid of them so glutathione in there will fight those off and what's amazing about glutathione is it will naturally reproduce itself it will also go in and help the other antioxidants you know work properly and reproduce themselves it will actually go in and help vitamin c work better and vitamin E work better and all of those things. It actually does self signaling as well. And it will tell them what they're supposed to do. And one amazing thing that a lot of people don't know about is apoptosis. What does that mean? It means cell death. We instantly think cell death is bad, but cell death isn't bad. When your cell doesn't die properly and get rid of itself, you get rogue cells and that's when things like cancer create because you have tumors that grow because those cells were supposed to be told to die and to actually go out of the body and they didn't so a uh, glutathione being able to tell the cell to actually die when it needs to is hugely important in preventing things like cancer and tumor growth so we really need to focus on that too now what about alcohol alcohol goes in and you know it works the liver but it's full of it's full of toxins and so we need to get rid of that too and glutathione squashes or is squashed by the amount of alcohol we take in stress physical stress mental stress all of the stresses go in and zap the amount of glutathione we have so we're running an uphill battle here you're stressed out, your glutathione's going down, therefore you can't reproduce it more, and it just goes down and down and down and down. What about extreme exercise? Well, moderate exercise actually helps glutathione levels, but extreme exercise actually hurts your glutathione levels. So what glutathione does is it will actually go in and it'll help the muscles heal. So we have some phenomenal people in our group and um they're great athletes and we're working with some amazing athletes and what we're finding is by upping their glutathione levels they're actually able to recover and by recovering faster the muscle is actually healing and so when that muscle heals they can actually work out longer and harder and with those increased glutathione levels they reach their goals higher and higher and higher and bill gillespie is an amazing man and he's in his 60s and i know the last time i looked it up he had bench pressed over a thousand and fifty two pounds i believe and that's just phenomenal in your 60s breaking world records doing the extreme exercise but he's only able to do that because he is supplementing the glutathione with our hydrostat technology lack of sleep this is one I definitely talk to my drivers about all the time. So your sleep is like a bank, right? And so you, if you don't deposit into that bank, you're going to have too many withdrawals and then you will go below zero, right? So you need to deposit, deposit, deposit so that we can actually run off that balance and you'll end up with a negative balance. Well, the negative balance too much will also hurt your glutathione levels sunlight although sunlight's needed for vitamin d sunlight will actually come in and injure your glutathione levels as well well let's talk about radiation you know you go in for an x-ray or you go in through an mri or you go on an airplane right airplanes have really high levels of radiation or we walk around with radiation you know phones and all kinds of things all day long our body is being bombarded with radiation let's talk about medicines so many medicines go in and actually are toxic. That's why when you take one, you have a list of a hundred things that it might cause because so many medicines cause toxicity and they actually lower your glutathione levels. So you're sick with a low glutathione level. You're taking a medicine to help it, which might lower your glutathione level even more. Sounds like a disaster. So what do we do? Well, our body does naturally make it. But after the age of 20, the body loses the glutathione production by 10 to 15% per decade. So by the time you're in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, you have almost no glutathione levels. Well, that brings us to our healthy versus our unhealthy people. There was a study done looking at our centenarians and the people that were 100 years old, and their glutathione levels were fantastic. 
right? They felt good, they were still around. Why? Because they had high glutathione levels. Now, what about our people that are really, really sick at 40 and 50 and have all these disease states? They check their glutathione levels and they're really, really low. So what does that mean here? Well, it means we need to make sure our glutathione levels are, are up so that we can go ahead and move forward with less disease states, feeling better and being at our best. So like I said, more than 150,000 articles. Glutathione levels are extremely difficult to rise. And this is why your doctor doesn't talk about it, right? Oral glutathione goes into your mouth and is so fragile that by the time it hits your stomach, that tripeptide we had talked about, those three amino acids, it just busts it right open, right? So then it's not going to be absorbed. So IV glutathione was the way to go. Well, one, it's, it's cumbersome, right? You have to find somebody that's willing to do it. You have to hook yourself up to an IV and it peaks in about three hours and then it wears out after about three days. So I don't know about you, but I'm not able to go hook up to an IV every two or three days. It's just not practical. So what about the old age of encapsulated glutathione precursors? Well, they were the best that we had when we had them. Thank goodness science has progressed. So they used to go in via that GI tract that I was talking about, right? And so the average bioavailability time was about 45 minutes to an hour and then up to four hours. But that's if your GI tract worked properly. So if you have stomach issues and uh, digestive issues, if you've got GERD, if you're on any antacids, all of those things play in. So a lot of people that were on the precursors never felt anything like they do now with the nano hydrostat technology because it never even was able to absorb. So if you were a healthy person, you may have been able to have that bioavailability time. But now we have fixed that problem. So the effects were taking time to appear as well. So it had to go into the mouth, it had to break down in the gut, had to find its way into absorption, into the cell, into the cell it had to recreate. So those tripeptides had to recreate, hoping you had enough cysteine in there to make it bioavailable. So slowest absorption ever. So insecurity and supplementation absorption we had talked about. And then an unpleasant taste. How many times do you taste what you're, you're swallowing, right? You take us those pills and those pills come back up all day long. And then some supplements are destroyed by digestive juices, which we already talked about. Um, it cannot be used in patients who are vomiting or unconscious, right? So if you have a stomach issue and you're vomiting and you can't keep that pill down, it won't break down. And then metabolization, as it passes through the liver before it's distributed, so you have to hope that it actually absorb, then it has to go through the liver to actually get where it's going. So many steps to hope that it's going to eventually boost that glutathione. So it's about the same as being on roller skates. So the new era of instant absorption, nano size glutathione is the best thing I've ever seen. So it instantly absorbs through the mouth in about 30 seconds. It goes from there into the blood and then from the blood to all of those organs we had talked about, into the brain, into the liver, into the kidneys, into the pancreas, all of those things, which is really, really exciting. So when you take it, I recommend that you stick it under your tongue for a little bit while you fill that second cap. And then that second cap goes into your mouth and you swish the entire thing. I realize it says 30 seconds to a minute. I recommend all my patients swish for at least a minute and a little secret, I'll throw it in my mouth and walk around for three or four minutes and then swallow it. I want maximum absorption of every bit of that glutathione. So as long as you keep it in your mouth, there's more absorption. You get immediate intercellular bioavailability. So it's automatically going into that body. It actually tastes good too, right? It's got a nice little minty flavor to it. It skips the GI tract. And I have found this to be amazing for so many of my patients. My patients come in and so many of my truck drivers have stomach issues, right? For whatever the reason. And they weren't able to take those pills. But because all the actions in those cheeks and under that tongue, you don't have to worry about the stomach. You just swish and it's instantly going into the system. So anybody with the GI tract 
issue can take this because you don't have those issues. The other part about that is if you are ill and if you are vomiting, right? As long as you can find a minute where you can swish, then you can go ahead and take this. It's going to help get into that body. And whether it's viral or whatever is causing you to have that vomiting sensation uh, will actually still be able to be helped because it will have that instant absorption. Um, it doesn't require it to go through the liver because it directly goes into the mouth and then it goes into the blood and then whatever the destination of the organ. And it's got that rapid absorption. It's very, very safe and it can be administered. Um, supplementation itself is easy and it's comfortable. So you don't have to go have those IVs. It's fast, it's easy. You can take it to the gym with you, throw it in your mouth before your workout. You can use it as a post-workout. You can use it however you want. And um, it's very, very simple, painless, and it's economical. So do you know how expensive it is to go to an IV and get glutathione IV? Very, very expensive. So I am so excited that uh, Numi has made it completely economical, that anybody can afford this. And it is so much cheaper than sick care. Wellness care, making sure your body's working properly, is so much better investment than any sick care ever has been. And it doesn't produce any anxiety or fear. Some people are afraid to swallow those capsules. Some people aren't able to swallow. So it doesn't produce any of that. You just swish it. It's, it's pretty innocuous and you just enjoy the benefit. So you remember that roller skate? This is more like flying a jet, right? So that roller skate scooted around and got you where it needed to go. But this jet got you there super fast in that destination. Why? What is technology or is nanotechnology? It's the science that's dedicated to design and manipulation of matter at a level of an atom or a molecule for industrial medical pur purposes, among others. And for this reason, it allows greater surface coverage. So to give you a visual, we'll talk about a soccer ball. So an inflator soccer ball, inflated, round, right, has a just normal surface. If you flatten it, it increases that coverage area because it becomes flat, right? And so it gets a little bit bigger. But if you slice and dice it to about 80 nanometers, which to give you a reference, the average hair is right around 80 nanometers. So one single hair is right around that 80 nanometers, right? So if you cut up that same soccer ball into 80 nanometer size, it will cover 72 soccer fields. I mean, it's phenomenal, but what does this mean for you, right? So if you're taking that in and that service area is increased, it's actually absorbing so much better and so much more effectively into those areas and able to actually do what it's supposed to do. So this is NutraSwish. This is what we've been talking about for the last however long we've been talking. NutraSwish is the hydrostat nanotechnology delivery of glutathione. So what are the benefits of glutathione? It induces deep and or better sleep. So this has been amazing for me. So I have a history of thyroid cancer and a few other things, right? They took my thyroid out, two pair of thyroids, 85 lymph nodes, ligated my left jugular, yada, yada, yada. I used to lay down and my eyes went open, right? And so when that happened, I could never get restful sleep. One of the most amazing things this did for me is I am out and I am able to lay down, fall asleep, get into REM, wake up and feel fantastic, right? So sleep is so important. And we had talked about adding into that sleep bank, right? If you're not making those regular deposits, then every time you make a withdrawal, it's harder and harder and harder. So if glutathione is helping you sleep better, it is helping you make those deposit into that sleep bank. And so hopefully you never go negative. It allows a natural and stable increase in your energy level. So your energy is not going to go up and then plummet and then go up and then plummet like it will with caffeine or energy drinks, right? You just get a natural stable increase and you get to go like this all day long, right? So your energy level will peak 
and or will go up and it will just stay there and it is amazing and this is why it was so important to work with my truckers it is very very important that my drivers are able to take the long haul they have amazing packages they need to deliver but more importantly they need to do it safely i'm driving on the road my kids driving on the road your family is driving on the road so they can't have this 18 wheeler and be exhausted so when rhonda and steve talked to me about uh, bringing this to my drivers, I was like, let me please do a study. If there's anybody in the world that needs better energy, it is my professional truck drivers. And so I was so honored to be able to do this study. So what did we do? We asked them a series of questions about energy in the morning, energy in the afternoon, energy in the evening. We asked them about their sleep. We asked them about headaches. We asked them about their habits. And they said, okay, well, I'll do this study. But if I do it, do I have to get rid of this and this and this, right? Do I have to make all these changes? I said, actually, I don't want you to make any changes. I want you to add this. And then you tell me what it's doing because we wanted to see exactly what it was doing. By the end of this study, I had drivers tell me they weren't drinking coffee anymore. They weren't taking those energy shots anymore. They were actually having energy levels that were throughout the day. If they did start to feel tired throughout their long haul, they would take it and swish it again and then just keep on trucking. It's the most amazing thing and it definitely makes my heart feel good because these drivers are safer on the road because I have been able to bring them this hydrostat technology of glutathione and nothing else that I've ever seen has been able to do this. And the reason I bring up that I'm a registered dietitian as well is because I have seen every supplement product down the pike, right? I have been doing that for 20 years and everything that's come down the pike. How do you get more energy? How do you feel better? How do you sleep better? Every supplement out there I have seen and nothing I have ever come in contact with has worked like this product has for all the people that I have dealt with. And so it is such an amazing technology to be with. So it, it improves the clarity and mental focus, which was also huge with my drivers, right? We need to make sure that they're alert because all these things happen on the road, right? You get cut off or, you know, a wheel might blow, a tire might blow, and it might end up in front of their truck. They need to be mentally focused and the clarity needs to be there, which is why it was so important. But it's important for you and I, right? No matter what your job is, if you're a doctor, if you're a housewife, if you're, you know, working at the supermarket, all of those things that we do on a daily basis that mental clarity and focus needs to be there so that we can be the best person that we can be we all have decisions we have to make on a daily basis and without having clarity and mental focus we miss things and none of us want to miss anything and if you can help someone improve their clarity and mental focus uh it's life-changing so it improves performance and endurance and physical physical recovery. We spoke about this with the athletes, whether you're a weekend golfer or you're going out there and running a marathon or you're a professional athlete, all of these things are benefits to you. It significantly improves joint and muscle discomfort associated with inflammation. Now, this is also huge for me. So as a chiropractor, I work with the joints of the body. And for years, I've been able to manipulate a joint, make somebody feel better, but it was really hard to send them home with anything to decrease that inflammatory other than diet. And so to be able to give them something that they can take on a daily basis to decrease that joint pain, I have a patient and I love talking about him. He was in my study. He is a driver. He also rides horses. He needs knee surgery because the cartilage is gone and I'm not claiming he doesn't need knee surgery. But what I'm so excited about is my office is at the top of the steps. I don't have an elevator. We're in a really old building and he used to pull himself up the steps using the rail one at a time to get up there. Now he walks up and down my stairs with no problem. He said he'll never go a day without this product because it makes him feel amazing. So it protects and detoxifies the liver. So if you know anybody that's toxic, all of us, or maybe you know somebody that has had an issue with a lot of medications, whether it be prescribed or unprescribed, maybe they're dealing with things that you know are affecting the liver. This detoxifies the liver. It helps it work better. And who doesn't want a liver that actually can push the stuff back in? 
It improves function and clarity of our skin. And that brings us to Numi Skin as well. Numi Skin, we actually found a way to use that same nanotechnology and go through the skin. And it actually goes through all the layers of the skin. But what's so exciting about it is if you're taking it orally, the skin tells you what's wrong with the body. So you may think, oh, well, I just have eczema. Well, you might just have eczema, but it's telling you your entire body inside is inflamed, right? Or maybe you have yeast that's showing up in your mouth or any other area, and you think, I just can't battle these yeast infections. Well, your skin is telling you that there's something systemically going on in the body. And so if you look at the body and you take it both orally and you put it on the skin, it is amazing what we have seen with our patients and the clarity of the skin. So it slows down, it stops, and it reverses the aging process. And this one I love, right? So there are so many pictures out there and you can go in and look, but so many pictures of seeing an 83 year old woman that has been on the product for three weeks that so many of her wrinkles are gone and she looks so much more youthful. And it is just amazing both internally and externally how it's actually slowing or reversing the aging process. Again, NutraSwish with the Hydrostat nanotechnology. It takes glutathione L-cysteine from our Revive product, which we had before, and combines it with a couple other ingredients that'll aid your body in recovery. So it uses curcumin, and curcumin is the active ingredient in turmeric. And a lot of people use turmeric and curcumin for anti-inflammatory processes, decreasing arthritis, making you feel better. Alpha-lipoic acid. Alpha-lipoic acid is amazing. It too helps the body with inflammatory states. Muscadine grapes. So muscadine grape extract uh, can, heart, can be heart healthy. And that's what you think of when they say wine is good for your heart. It's actually what's coming from that grape. And it's powered by the hydrostat, that itty bitty nanotechnology. So Numi Skin I had spoken about as well. And that's using that technology, nano size, to make it super bioavailable for the skin, right? So it's using the glutathione that we've been talking about over and over again, but it's using hyaluronic acid, which you see in all of these high end fancy skin products, right? And it talks about how it nourishes the skin. We found a way to nano size that too. So collagen, collagen is what gives the skin that bounce. So when you look at some of these pictures and you think they have a, a facelift, no, but we found a way to make the collagen not just topical, but actually using that nanotechnology is going in deep into the skin and it's giving it that elastic bounce back. It's almost like putting the spring back that you had when you were a child. When your skin was nice and tight, that's from the collagen and it's going in and adding that bounce and it's doing things that nobody has ever seen before. It's got NAD plus and then other amino acids in there as well. And because the nanotechnology absorption is being reduced, nano size allows the instant, instant absorption in 30 seconds and reaching the cell within immediate bioavailability. So within about 60 seconds or less versus the traditional way that takes so much longer to be absorbed, around 45 minutes, and that's if you're lucky. So again, we're flying a jet instead of riding on a roller skate. So what sets us apart? I'm pretty sure I've covered this, but I'm gonna cover it again. That nano reduction, taking that big molecule and making it itty bitty. Extending that surface coverage area. So, you know, when you have a drink and just to explain the, the surface coverage again, and you fill it with one ice cube, it might get cold, but if you fill it with a bunch of ice cubes, it'll get a little cooler. But if you smash those ice cubes up and fill it, that water gets ice cold super fast. And that's how that surface area, increasing the surface area works. So we also have that instant absorption of the nanonutrients, unlike anything on the market. And it immediately is intracellular bioavailability. So it's immediately in those cells, right? And we're wrapped in water. We're not wrapped in a lipid. You may see some things on a market where they claim they're nano. They're really not quite nano, but they'll claim it. And then they wrap it in a lipid. Well, that lipid doesn't make it instantly bioavailable. We found a way to wrap it in water and it's an ultra pure water, purer than the IVs that you may get in the hospital. 
right? So because of that, the cell actually wants it and it's gonna absorb that water. So it's immediately intracellularly bioavailable. And you're gonna see fast results. So with all of that, you're gonna live better, you're gonna feel better, and you're gonna perform better at the speed of swish. And I hope all of this helped and made you understand why I'm so excited to be able to bring this product to all of my patients and all of you as well. So welcome to the new era of unlimited possibilities with Hydrostat technology.